got an old 24 ounce tube of this icing and uh, it's kind of thickened up on me. I haven't used it in a while. You can see how it's thick. It needs to be creamed out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some of this plastic thinner in here, USC plastic thinner, and I'm going to thin it up again, get it back to its creamy state, how it should be. I can feel it getting soft already. Put a little bit more in there. I don't want to use that new tube that I got. This one's half full, so. The shelf life on these is good. It's the hardeners you got to worry about. So I've got several tubes of hardener. I'll probably bust open a, a new one. It's like churning butter. There we go. So that's all I need right there for what I'm doing. I'm going to throw some hardener in it. Mix it up. So I went ahead and I mixed up that glazing putty and I put some down. I had some highs and some low spots right in here. Uh, it's also good for getting rid of deep sand scratches and you get deep sand scratches with the 180, 120 grit. I went ahead and I got rid of all my guide coat by blocking this fender out again. And it is super, super nice. There's no highs and no lows in it right now. I busted through some metal right here and that's your indicator to stop. You got to know when to stop sanding. And this body filler is super thin. It probably didn't even need the body filler. I probably could have just pounded these fenders out and then went over the whole thing with my glaze. But uh, I wanted to demonstrate that body filler, how nice that body filler is. With this glazing putty, if you get up real close, you can see that it's not perfectly smooth. I mixed it up too hot. That's what happened. I usually, when I mix up small portions like that, I mix it up hot because I'm only going to use it real quick and then I want to sand it soon. But if I would have mixed it up a little cooler with less hardener, it would have a glaze to it that you have to bust that bust through that glaze first. And that's how nice that stuff is. But this will still sand out smooth. And then there's another trick to use to get rid of even more sand scratches. If that's what you're trying to do and I'll show you how to do that too so I went ahead and I got my glazing putty sanded out with my uh, jitterbug block sander and what I have is a couple of low spots I got a I got a low spot right here and I don't think you can see it that well but there's got that's guide coat right there in that circle and it's deep I can feel it with my finger but then right here I got I hit bare metal, so I stopped sanding. Um, this is the kind of spot right here that you would see. It would carry through your your base coats, your clear coats, and you'd see that it would look like a rock ding. But then I got my putty sanded out and feathered. It's got a, it got a nice feather edge on it. I, I did hit some some bare metal again here and here right here I've got a hard edge on on my glazing putty so it could be feathered out a little bit better but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get rid of these sand scratches even this pit here um, using this this is USC red glazing putty it's super smooth, super creamy, super fine. It's ready to use out of the tube. It air dries. It's almost like having a tube of 2K primer mixed up, ready for you on hand with the consistency of butter. Uh, it's, it's got a holdout that's better than the glazing putty. You put it on and it's gonna stay where you put it. Uh, you don't use this really thick because it shrinks. 
and you could actually go and put some in this pit hole or this hole here and um, think that it's good come back and sand it and you can see that it'll shrink and the the hole will be there again but you you would have to do it again what I would recommend is going over this with a little dab of glazing putty but uh, I think that this is gonna work right here in this little area I don't even I don't think you can see this area but uh, I'm gonna put this on and I'll demonstrate how it's used some people say that this is old school I use this stuff so can also be used on bare metal. A lot of people say no it can't, you can't use this on bare metal, but yes you can, you put it right on bare metal. that I'll wet sand this it sets up pretty quick so you do you do want to wet sand this anyways because it has a tendency to clog paper more than primers fillers glazes like it'll clog the shit out of your paper and real quick even if it dries for days I've even baked it with some heat and it's still clogged if you do it wet then uh, don't have any worries that low spot I was talking about right there I don't trust it I don't trust the glaze red glazing putty to fill that I think it'll shrink so I'm probably gonna sand that and throw some glaze some of the blue glaze putty on it but this is turning out really nice it's actually it's ready for its final primer coats so I gotta show you this fender here. This is the driver's side fender on that 47 GMC pickup. And it blocked out beautifully. I don't I don't think I've ever had one block out that nicely first time. Or second time actually, it's second time. But uh, what I wanted to say was the reason why that one is so beat up is because that's the driver's side fender. That's the one that's underneath the drive wheel off to the downside of the crown of the highway or the road farm roads they get beat up this one's pretty nice
Go back again, putting some more primer coatings on the 47. I got another coat of primer on the rear fenders. They look really good. They're ready to be final sanded and painted. Uh, I had to specifically focus some attention on the fender skirts themselves. They have a, a body line down there that's defined. It's not a super sharp line. It's got a slight curve to it. Uh, I had to sand those very carefully and they're going to need to be sanded carefully again to uh, bring out the detail in them before I put actual base coat and then metal flake on them. But uh, it turned out really good. They're ready. The rest of the truck will be ready shortly and I'm going to start painting.